thank you for joining me. I'm here to teach everyone how to play a saxophone. My name is Billy King. I have a very unique way of teaching the instrument. I am going to go ahead and teach to you. Uh, these lessons are for anyone who is just getting started, who has just got their first saxophone or has had one laying around for years and wanted to learn how to play, or anyone who's even been playing for years and just wants to learn something new, get a little bit of a different feel for the instrument, this is good for you guys too. This lesson here is going to be for the beginnings. I'm going to go ahead and just start from the very beginning and teach the very basics of the saxophone. So let's go ahead and get started. So most of us start out like this versus having the saxophone on and you know just start with the case. Uh, of course when we open up the case there's a lot of things and some of you beginners might not know what some of those things are. So I'm going to pull things out one at a time, kind of just let you see what they are, yeah, get a little introduction. This little thing right here, uh, it's going to be a neck strap for your saxophone. Uh, it just goes right around your neck. Uh, it will. It's going to have some kind of little clip right here. Mine is in the shape of a V because it's from the company Van Doren and uh, it just goes up and down and it clips on to a special part of the saxophone it helps you hold it because it's a heavier instrument and you don't want to just sit there and hold that with your fingers while you're trying to you know, do other techniques it makes a world of difference having that uh, the next thing you might notice that is going to be in here uh, I have a little cleaning cloth just wipe down the saxophone after you're done using it I do it every time it keeps it nice and pretty and well, we all like pretty things. Uh, I have this, it's just a singular reed. Uh, most of the time, for any of you, it'll come in a box, kind of like this. These are Van Doren reeds as well. Uh, if you do not have reeds yet and you need reeds, I would recommend either Van Doren or Rico. They're a good beginner reed. And for starting out, you're gonna want a size two or two and a half. Mine are size three, because I'm a little bit more experienced, but you're going to want a two or two and a half starting out. It's a softer reed, and you're going to want the softer reed starting out. Uh, from there, you might notice something that I am missing. It looks like a little tube of chapstick. And let me tell you ahead of time, that is not chapstick. You don't want to put that on your lips. I remember whenever I first got my saxophone, that's what my older sister had told me. She's like, oh, that's chapstick, so your lips don't get chapped while you're playing. And I just thought that made so much sense at the time, and now that I'm older, I realize I'm very glad I didn't put that on my lips. That is cork grease. Uh, and I'll show you why it's called that and how to use it here momentarily. Now, this is the mouthpiece. On the mouthpiece, I also have attached to it this this is my version of a ligature a ligature is the piece that holds the reed onto the mouthpiece yours might look a lot different than mine some of them have two screws some of them are chain mail some of them have just different ways of doing it uh, this is the one that I personally have and then here's my mouthpiece this is also a Van Doren mouthpiece for those of you who are curious I'm going to go ahead and set that down. Here you have the neck of the instrument. I don't want to drop that. So the neck is uh, where the mouthpiece goes. What you would do to apply cork grease is you take it just like a chapstick, you apply just a small amount around this cork that is on this. And then you just take your finger or hand and rub it like so. It helps you apply the mouthpiece a lot easier. I've applied it several times on this one personally, so I don't have to do that. And then the mouthpiece just goes on just like that. Make sure it's on there firmly. And as soon as it is, that should be good. We'll get into exactly where to put position that in another lesson. Uh, from here, what you can do... We'll take our reed. Uh, what you're gonna do for the reed is you're gonna place it right on there. 
right on the mouthpiece, on the flat part, and then you're going to push the reed up just so that when you press it, it may, you make sure it covers the entire curve of that mouthpiece because that's where you're going to get your sound is that from that reed vibrating up and down on that mouthpiece so you want to make sure it's completely covered then you can take your ligature uh, typically the screws will go on the right side and you just tighten it not too much you don't want it too tight if you do it too tight it's going to make it so that it can't vibrate correctly right there I also don't recommend blowing through it until you have the whole instrument together because if you do it sounds terrible it's not a great sound so I'm going to go ahead and set that down now we have the saxophone almost all the way put together and then from here you have the body of the saxophone so some of you whenever you pull the body out you're gonna have different things that are gonna be available inside of it like personally mine has this little cap that goes inside of it I usually keep it in the case like that so it doesn't rattle around some of you when you pull that out it might be attached to a big plume do not store your saxophone with that plume in there what that does is it will go in there it'll absorb all that moisture and it will either corrode the inside of your saxophone or it'll start getting moldy uh, and you don't want either of those things so make sure to protect your saxophone as a great cleaning device put it to the side it's okay to have it to use it every now and again even every time you're done playing if you just want to clean it out that's perfectly okay but do not keep that in there that's not good for your saxophone and from here what you want to do is you want to take your neck of your instrument and it's pretty obvious where it goes I mean there's a hole right up there you got to uh, place it in there just gently side to side and while you're pressing it down and then what you want to do is if you look right back here you have a little line right here this is for your octave key is what it's going to be called but there's a line to the neck uh, on, on the back of the neck you want that line on the back of the neck lined up with this little line right here and then from there you're going to take it and you tighten that up right there and there you have it that's the saxophone now some of you guys other saxophones might come with gloves it might come with a tuner uh, different saxophones come with different things and if you have the gloves in the tuner, I, the gloves are just a personal preference. If you want to use them, you can. If you don't want to get fingerprints on your saxophone, you don't have to. So if you want to use gloves, go ahead. Now for a tuner, I'm going to teach you how to use a tuner in a later video. So don't worry about that right now. But there you have it. I mean, that's the basics of the instrument. Just so you are all aware, I will be using the alto saxophone for these lessons. If you have a tenor saxophone, a baritone saxophone, a soprano, any other form of saxophone, the notes and everything that I will be teaching you today does carry over. However, when you play along with me, it's going to sound a lot different. That's the only thing that I can assure you on this is that it's going to carry over, but it's going to sound different. So. For now, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be looking forward to making more videos for you guys. As for right now, go ahead and everyone be safe. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.